I'm outside Southampton St Mary's Stadium, where the final of the upcoming Southampton Cup is set to take place. Now, the tournament organised by the Saints is set to place, uh, take place over eight days in August and will feature boys under 12s teams, under 14s teams, as well as girls under 14s teams and girls under 16 teams. So other teams involved include England's West Ham and Chelsea and also some European teams will be making a trip, including Anderlecht of Belgium and FC Porto. The tournament isn't limited to Europe, with also teams from Canada and also Kenya, who we know produce Victor Wanyama, will also be taking part. But it isn't just Southampton who will be reaping rewards of this tournament, with teams such as Romsey Town and Blackfield and Langley also supporting the tournament. We spoke to Saints legend Matt Letizia and what this will do for the community. And we also spoke to Solent Sports Philip Green on the university's involvement in the tournament. It's pretty exciting stuff actually and uh, hopefully the, the local community will get right behind it and uh, you know, go down and watch a lot of the games. You should see you know, some, some talent that's going to come through in the professional game over the years. So it'll be nice actually for, for people to come along and actually say, Oh, you know, that player looks uh, a decent player. I'll just make a note of his name, keep an eye on him, and then a few years later, they go back to the list and go, oh, yeah, I saw him play when he was, like, 12. Letizier, who was at Southampton University for a Q&A session, believe the tournament can help the already successful Southampton Academy. I think you'll find that uh, they'll probably host a tournament like this and they'll be keeping a close eye on players of all ages, and uh, it's, a, it's a lovely little set-up for, for Southampton to actually have their scouts at the games and just to, to pick out a few players that they might just go, mm, hang on a minute, you know, he, he might be useful for us in years to come. So uh, there's a chance for players uh, of all ages to come along and impress the football club. So on to one of the many supporters of the tournament and Phil Green discusses the university's involvement. Uh, a lot of the teams are using our student accommodation um, for the duration of the tournament from the reputation point of view of putting Test Park a little bit more on the map because there'll be, uh, I imagine, a lot of media coverage for it. Uh, there's, some, there's some big name clubs, uh, although this is obviously the youth side of um, from, from across the world coming. And uh, as I say, it'll put Test Park on the, on the map and Soviet University on the map a little bit. Rhys Peacham, Silent Sports News.